Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Renan Esteem and my co-host, your boy Al Cameron, here to win another bit. All right, let's jump right into it. Is it self-hate for a black woman to perm her hair? And the reason I ask this is because I was um, scrolling through the gram. Um, I saw a young lady who was bashing a brother for dating um, a woman outside of his race and as I'm, I'm, I'm reading her comments and her, seeing how she's going in, and I got curious. I'm like, I, I wonder who this young lady is. So I clicked on her um, profile to kind of go further and look, and I noticed that she was a black woman, but she obviously had had her hair permed. Um, and that made me question: uh, Can you really? I mean, can you really criticize this young man? Because I feel like you're self-hating if you're changing yourself to look more European. What do you think? I mean, this is a, a tough topic because um, black hair is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I don't bang with perm. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like a, when I was younger, I didn't know what it actually meant. So I was like, you know, I didn't, didn't bother me. But once I realized what you're doing to your hair, your your hair follicles and the chemicals you're putting in, I'm like, why? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? So definitely, I don't bang with perms. Um, I think it's more ignorance than self-hate though. Because there are a lot of black women that, you know, I think the resurgence right now is that black women are realizing that, you know what I'm saying, their hair is beautiful. But if you're getting told year after year, time after time that your hair is ugly and you need to straighten it, or you need to straighten your hair to get a job, or you need to straighten your hair to do this, or you need to straighten your hair to do that, you're just gonna do it without questioning it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like a like I think this day and age people are changing and you know what I'm saying they realize that we don't have to straighten our hair, and that's why you see these situations where you know schools are saying, "Oh, schools get in trouble because they're telling black kids to straighten their hair or do this or do that with their hair," and they're telling their parents, and it goes on news all the time. So yes, black people are waking up more to, you know, what I'm saying how we're beautiful. We don't need to change ourselves to fit, you know, what I'm saying the social norms that they created, you know, what I'm saying that other people created. But I also feel like you know, what I'm saying they're all gonna be those black people, those black people that are ignorant to the idea. You know, what I'm saying. Well, I know a young lady who has, um, she has her hair permed, um, and she, she's really big on black people, but she she doesn't like black features. Like, all three of her daughters are black, and um, I was like, you know, I was, we were discussing hair and things like that. I'm like, uh, you know, you, you know, you should do the natural hair thing, so on and so forth, and she was like, oh, hell no. I, I want my hair straight. And all my daughters are gonna have their hair straight. So she has, she's already perming her little girl's hairs, and, and I'm like, I, I'm like this this this. Even though you like you love black people, it's something something's off here. Like you know what I mean? I felt like that you sell yourself hating if you think it's ugly to have your hair be natural. I think it's self hating if you think it's ugly for your daughters to have natural hair. But is it self? See, my question is. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but my question is, is it self-hate? Or is it just brainwashing? Because at the end of the day, man, like, it's like saying, for example, um, there was a study, I can't remember um, what the study right now on top of my head, but um, the study basically showed, it was, they had a baby, and um, every time a white, I think a rabbit or, you know, white rat, ran past the kid, mm -hmm. they did a really loud sound. And then over time, the kid realized that anytime a white bunny or a white rabbit runs by him, he starts crying before they even play the sound. That's the same scenario, you know what I'm saying? Brain, like, because we're told this, and everything we see on TV and everything we, we're introduced to is straight straight hair, you know what I'm saying, whether black or white, you know what I'm saying? Is it really self-hate or is it just, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't look appe appealing to you because you're so, uh, you know, enamored with the other, uh, you know, yeah, hair. Yeah, European standards. Exactly, you because you're, you know? you know, because that's all you see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, TV, film, uh, beauty magazines, that, 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 uh, that created a conditioning to make uh, black people start to think like uh, European beauty standards is, is, is where it's at. Exactly. Um, but that was, a, that was a long time ago, in my opinion. And the young lady, she's not, she's young. You know what I mean? Yeah. She grew up in the generation of natural hair, um, love, love yourself, black women, empowerment, like she's, she's growing up in that particular, you know, bubble, you know what I mean? That, 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 that smartphone bubble and, and 
for her to still think like that, I'm like, well, why are you still thinking this way? I've seen so many women who who are embracing who they are, and it's like an, it's like it's weird to have just just one kind of younger person out there who's just still stuck in almost like a slave like mentality. I, I can't say that because what if it's their parents? Like, give a perfect example, right? You know what I'm saying? We're in the Haitian culture. We understand how the Haitian culture rock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't want you to have long hair. They want you to have brush cuts. They, that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? So anytime, uh, for the longest time, anytime you had, you know what I'm saying, afros, dreads, braids, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because that was their perception. So let's say I'm thinking speaking, this girl, you know what I'm saying, you know, at one time did think about natural hair, but her parents are like, ugh, you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what most of her family are like, ugh, you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? Because we also understand that peer pressure matters too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if my parents are not like, I feel like a lot of things people do in general is because of the pressure of their family. You know what I'm saying? So if my family's not okay with this, I don't want to be different. I don't want to be the black sheep of the family. I don't want to be the stand out alone. You know what I'm saying? And it takes a lot to be that person in anybody's family. So because of that, what if, you know what I'm saying? And then mind you, her parents are probably from an older generation. Yeah. You know her family is probably from an older generation. So she may not be, you know what I'm saying, of that mindset, but if her family is, until she kind of gets under that rock of her family, then she might be able to, you know what I'm saying, make that change. Well, just watching so many people want to alter their bodies in a certain way, um, it, 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 it truly bothers me. You know what I mean? Um, it makes me think that you don't think we're, like we're good enough. Exactly. You know, and every time I see and, and to see the the young lady that I, was, that I started the conversation about, to see her just bashing and attacking and saying the most vicious things about this young man. And then just to watch her, everything about her screams European standards. You know what I mean? It's like, why, why are you, why are you doing this? Like, why are you? It's like the what is it? The pocket calling the kettle black. Yeah, basically, yeah. But you know, one, I want to get into. You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about self hate, I think bleaching more along those lines. If you bleach your skin, I think that is along a lot of self hate. But I think in this female's case. It's more jealousy. Like I think I just I, I watched a YouTube video recently where it was basically saying that you know black women are the most to interact with the, the, you know saying another you know another race or just you know you know men in general, but they're least talked to. So it's like they have this they have this they have this feeling of anger that you know we're not loved and we're not wanted. You know what I'm saying? So I think in her case it's more just anger of. Oh, another black man is with another race, and she's just mad because they feel like they're not being loved, black women are not being appreciated, you know what I'm saying, by other races or the black race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's strange. I I, I want to look into this study, but I, I would think in my head, from my experience, that black men are the most open to dating outside of their race. Well, I mean, because I, it seems like, i be honest, it seems like black men date everybody. I don't know. Of uh, I I, I can. I've hung around uh, white people who seem to only be attracted to white people. Then you talk to a black guy and he's just like, man, she look good, she look good, she looking good. Like, it's like, it's like so open, like, man, I don't care if she's Spanish, white, Asian, black, like, I'm I'm going for her, you know what I mean? Uh, I've seen other races that, nah, I'm not stepping out of it. I know Asian men who are like, won't step out of I, the Asian. I, uh, see, the Asian community, I, I totally agree. I think the Asian community kind of, you know, only mess with Asians. Whatever that I do, but I've definitely seen some black men who said I only date white girls. I I know some black men personally. No, of course they exist. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, but well, my my question is this: like, how could you be a black man and say you only date white women? You know nah, what I'm saying? That, that's that's just strange to me. To me, that is self hate. Yeah, that's self hate. That's some self hate right there. You know, because you can't tell me that you don't want your kid. Like you know what I'm saying? No shade to uh, you know Glock Nine or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Just the way certain people, black people act. Towards you know what I'm saying, you know lighter skinned people. And again, I think that's because of upbringing. But we, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know just the way they're like, nah, my, my baby can't be as black as me. You know what I'm saying, nah, I, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, damn, bro, like you can't tell me that's not self hate. If you if you look at your skin, you're like my kid can't be this. You know what I'm saying, like come on, bro. yeah, that that is some serious self hate. Um, if 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 you think if you think you're because your child's dark that your child's ugly, 
um, you got some serious issues. Exactly, you got some serious um, issues. You need to travel into like goddamn safaris of Africa for like nine months and then bring your ass back because something's wrong with you mentally. Um, they broke you. But see, we also had a discussion multiple times that in different states you're treated differently. You know oh yeah, saying? definitely. Block nine was is from Orlando, and I. We, I'm a South Floridian, if y'all don't know, obviously. Um, in South Florida, black men ain't getting love like that. That's just me being honest. I, I don't know, maybe I'm oblivious to it, but you know what I'm saying? It was, it's, it was always the lighter skinned guys that were getting the play. Well, I can't, I can't say, I could say that it was like that probably year, like in the years back. Um, but I think they're getting a lot of love. I think, I think, I think a black male probably struggling like Utah. Uh, I actually don't think so. Wyoming. I actually don't think. So. Uh, I actually think I don't, I'm not sure now, so don't don't be. Hey, don't be attacking me, you Utahians or you know Wyoming folks. Give don't me attack me. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Give me you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but, but I think you're actually wrong. But but not. But I could I could I could say from my personal experience, I've lived. Um, obviously, I, I've gone to the Bahamas. I've lived in the Bahamas. I've um lived in South Florida. I've lived in Jersey. Um, and I could say that. Everywhere I go, yeah, you're treated. You, a black man is treated differently. I, I, I could say that I'm treated. I was treated better in Jersey. I mean, up north, like you know what I'm saying. It just, it just is what it is. Like you know what I mean. So my question to you is this: Do you think that has any inclination on the, the the slavery ties from the past? Because if you think about it, the North was free. You know what I'm saying? Where the South was where, you know what I'm saying, most of the uh, the slaves and everything was was at. So, if you think about it that way, maybe they would be more accepting to, you know, black women up north, whereas down south, it wouldn't be that case. Do you think that has any, that plays any role in that situation? I think that definitely plays a role in it. I think definitely history uh, molded the way they date up there. Um, it's very, very, like, mixed in, especially in the, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's like, basically all black cities, you know what I mean? Um, but I noticed that everybody was kind of dating everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, you, I go, I take a trip into New York City and it was definitely like Asian women, black guy, um, white girl, Spanish dude, like it was just like, just a mixture of people dating. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that in Alabama, you know? I'll give you that. So, uh, it, strange. But well, my question is this, right? You, I bet you're a Utah and Wyoming. I got y'all Utah and Wyoming. Listen, just up, right? I think you're wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why I think it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One of the biggest uh, attractors to you know the opposite sex is being different. It's peacocking. There's, there's literally whole books of guys coming in and saying, yeah, man, the way you get girls is you be the most different dude in the room. You come in with a pig hat and uh, you know what I'm saying, and, <laughs> and feathers, and they're like, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? So like that is the thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand. I understand the theory of peacocking, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Man, but that could be the most epic peacock ever. It, it, it could be. It's just the that one black guy. How do they? How do they view you? Now, mind you. Now, if they don't like you now, because of you. your your race, then that'd be like. Huh, not saying that that happens in Utah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I've never I, I've never been there, exactly. so I can never I can never make a statement like that. But I'm just saying like, um, I can go to uh, let's say Argentina, right? And I'd be a black guy there. But I, I'm, 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 more, I'm, I have international knowledge of the situations in Argentina, so it might not be safe for me to even be in Argentina. So I could, yeah, I'm gonna stick out, but they might want to kill me because I stick out. That may be true. You know, there are people who want to hammer the nail that sticks too far, but there are also people who embrace the nail because it's sticking out. Now, mind you, my question is this: nah, right? some, some, some women just love danger, bro. Let it all that's what I'm about. Yeah. I don't think you might get married in Utah, but I think some of y'all say you might get some play in Utah. That's yeah, what I'm like, saying. I mean, like, uh, for, first of all, the, 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 first the, of all, the, the, the forbidden let, let, fruit, as they say. Let, let, first of all, forbidden fruit is, is, is just, I don't know, women, Women love danger. I don't know what this. That's, that don't even make no sense. It makes like sense. They, they be sending love letters to like serial killers. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they just love danger. So I understand that if somebody perceives you as uh, dangerous or edgy, that you might be the the man. The man. You know what I mean? That they. Oh, I might. I, I need this person because I don't know what might happen with him. It might be a, a shootout. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me ask you a question, right? Let's flip this argument on his head. If let's say there's a black guy in Utah and then this white 
girl or you know whoever you know likes this black guy is that self-hate because she, she's surrounded by white people but she chooses a black guy is that self-hate that's a that's a question because uh, it, it, it could be love or it could just be a fetish because i i do realize that some people um just fed us just put a create a fetish for a certain race um i feel like a lot of caucasians have fetish for um asian uh women like because they just imagine i don't know what they're imagining about them <laughs> but yeah you've seen it like you know what i'm saying but like <laughs> if the ones that are into anime they they, they fetishize uh asian women and asian women peep it and i know there's a lot i know a lot of asian women i mean, I mean let's be honest man I, if we're talking about anime here i mean i think everybody who watches anime <laughs> no, 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 no 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 i know a lot you, like I know guys who watch Asian stuff and just don't aren't into Asian women like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but yeah. I, what I'm saying is I I'm saying that I've seen that some Asian women that I I know I've dated an Asian woman and I know some things about Asian stuff. They know when when white guys are just like you know see, sizes, yeah. yeah like oh man like. You know, uh, hey, you're, you're Asian, yeah, like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like, like I, I don't know what he's imagining. I don't know, like, if she... gonna take some chopsticks. Yeah, stuff. like, I don't know what's wrong with them, but, like, in their heads, it's like... And, and they don't and they don't like that, you know what I mean? Of They're course. Like, nobody, nobody wants to be, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, a tool just because of that. Yeah, race. like, you know what, oh, you, know what you don't like me, you just like just because yeah, but, of... Because I'm this race. race. This is crazy. Like, you know what I mean? That's not that's not liking the person. Oh, man, they beat that stuff, man. I mean, me personally, you know what I'm saying, uh, I, you know, I love my Asian women, but uh, you know, I'm, I lean more to the more curvaceous side. So if it was an Asian woman, uh, she got to be hey, kind of curvy. Hey, oh, you know nah, nah, they be some thick. They be some I'm not saying they're not. Asian I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying, you know if saying? I'm messing with the edit, she gotta be on the courageous side. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't pull up. Hey, I don't, hey, I don't pull up on a few. Man. I don't pull up on a few curvy uh, uh, young Asian women now. They're they're there. They exist. Uh, <laughs> but back to something. Is it like, yes. Is it like, <laughs> we deviated a, a, a lot of. Uh, but uh, my my thing is, I, I don't. I think it's more jealousy. I think what she was saying was, well, <laughs> unintentionally saying was that. I'm upset that a black man is with another race because I want that. I want black. Like I, I see how it's it's crazy how black men feel like they're unwanted when they're single or, or not with a black woman. Like I, I I've experienced it myself. Like where I'll be chilling and like black women don't show no love, but then. Like every other race be out here like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what's up? Like, and then, and then you get to a situation like, okay, well, if they're not showing me love, I'm going to rock with them. And when you get with them, they hot. So it's like, what kind of situation I, is I, that? I'll say that, but I think that, that that was a South Florida thing that happened to me. Um, growing up, uh, when I first came into the country, I was considered too dark. And black women would not really date me because I was too dark. So. Elementary school, middle school, um, high school stuff like my girlfriends tend to be Hispanic because like Brazilian girls, um, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, they were just they were just like hey, like you know what I'm saying? They were they were hollering at me. I'm like damn. So then people start to think that oh man, Ray 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 dates like light skinned girls or Spanish girls only or so on and so forth. When really. I shot my shot at a lot of black women, and you know what I'm saying. You just bring it up everywhere. But obviously, as the mentality changed and I moved around more, you know what I'm saying. Obviously, I started dating black women and so on and so forth. But by then, I had been cultured where I I, I was like somebody couldn't tell me something about a particular culture that I didn't know about because I already dated through that culture. You know, um, it's just situations. But well, do you think the black? I think the black power movement has been changing a lot of perceptions and been changing a lot of things that's been going on recently because again, you know, like we, we talk about, you know what I'm saying, how South Florida was, you know, maybe like 10 to 20 years ago, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, Haitians weren't, you know, really respected like that and, yeah. and how black men were, you know, weren't really getting played for black women. But I think this black power movement, I see so many black women that are, you know what I'm saying, infatuated black men and uplifting black men. I think that, that changed a lot. Yeah. And I think, you know what I'm saying, that whole idea where you know what I'm saying black women don't necessarily want black men is changing. I think that a lot Definitely of that. that has been di disparaged. Um, but like I said, I think I think her situation was more on the the jealousy aspect of it more than you know what I'm saying because again you can't be like 
like you said, it's a pop call to come back. You can't be like, oh yeah, you can't. I can't believe you dating this. You know what I'm saying? This whoever European woman, and you you have European standards all over you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do appreciate. You that. can't be wearing. You can't have your hair permed and be wearing skater gear and then telling a guy that you know what I'm saying. You, you oh you black and you should stay there. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, you can't be doing that. For but them. I do appreciate that. You know, there are a lot of people that are, you know making black dolls and black products. So exactly, representation so. is everything. Exactly. Um, and we're gonna have to stop it there. Uh. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, watch another video and make sure you check out my boy L Camera. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace. Till next time.